Tekken franchise is no stranger to the fighting game scene. Sure, the series might not have the instant recognition of Street Fighter, but the Tekken community is just as passionate and rabid. It comes as no surprise, then, that a lot of people are excited about Tekken 6, and who could blame them? With one of the largest rosters to date and a ton of gameplay refinements, Tekken 6 is a smashing good time. Usually I'd take a moment now and tell you about the story to get you in the mood, but it doesn't really make any sense. All you need to know is that there's a really gorgeous Brazilian woman, a robo-girl with chainsaw arms, and a dude that punches missiles. Got it? Good. Positive. Tekken 6 is a great looking game and the detailed character models are complemented by some very nice CG cutscenes found in the campaign scenario story mode. Although Tekken 6 preserves its over-the-top, almost crazy character designs, the game goes for a photorealistic visual style. In this sense, I've seen prettier games before, but I think some of the close-up shots of the characters do look pretty slick. You won't be blown away by the look of the in-game water or the environments from the story mode levels, but graphics aren't what's important in a fighting game. What is important in a fighting game, besides the fighting, is the number of modes you have available and how well the game is put together. Tekken 6 has plenty to do considering the welcome presence of an arcade mode, survival mode, ghost battles, and online multiplayer. And with about 40 characters available right off the bat, I'd say you could spend a mind-bending amount of time learning them all. Unfortunately, Tekken has some less than ideal load times. Even the arcade machines took a little too long for matches to get rolling, but I suppose good things come to those who wait. Tekken has always been a unique mix of arcade style, pick up and play approachability with some seriously in-depth mechanics that give people like me a headache. That holds true for Tekken 6, as it's still a one-on-one -on -one 3D fighter that's easy to learn but crazy hard to master. While it is true that you can grab a controller and start mashing away, poning a few gamers here and there, you can always counter said button mashing with parries, sidesteps, interrupts, and more. In other words, if you have the frame counts of Jin's entire move list memorized, you can take on a button masher with no problem. KO. For Tekken newcomers, this game is actually really straightforward. You have one button assigned to each limb on a character. Combining the two punch buttons results in a more powerful move, and the same can be done with combining both kicks. Mix in a whole truckload of throws, juggles, combos, and a deep ground game, and you'll start to see why Tekken has an insane amount of depth. But again, people unfamiliar with the specifics can jump in and still fare pretty well against an intermediate player. This might turn some people off, but I think the balance works well enough. For those of you that have been eagerly following the series since its conception, there's not much I can tell you that you don't already know. If you're interested in unlocking the crazy amount of costumes each character has, the best way to do it would be through the campaign scenario mode, which is Tekken 6's story. Following new characters Lars and Elisa, this mode is more like a scrolling brawler with the Tekken engine thrown in. It's a fine distraction and a great way to earn money for buying new items, but serious Tekken players won't care for it much. All you Tekken nuts will undoubtedly pick up this game no matter what I say, but fortunately for you, it happens to be a great game and an excellent way for newcomers to get started, even though the story is almost impossible to follow at this point. I think Tekken fans of all skill levels will find something to like here. For the full written review, hit up IGN.com.